tasty. All right, all right, all right. Hi, everybody. Yes, I'm back. It's Now That's Tasty. Hello, all my Facebook friends. Love you guys. I missed you all. Had a nice week, relaxed with the puppy and my son, and did a few things around the house, but I'm glad to be back. We have a great show for you today. I, I, if I could have hand-picked all these items, these are the ones that I would have picked for you today. You know, we're getting into the holiday months. We want to get yummy food. We want stuff that's easy, right? Well, here's our special board. All kinds of great stuff. We got bagels coming up in just a bit. And I will tell you, my all-time favorite bagels that you bake at home. They're half-baked, and then you just pop them in the oven. They're absolutely delicious. We, let me show you. Come on over. I want to show you everything we got. All right, Bonnie and Pop. Have you guys ever tried this dried fruit? I feel funny even calling it dried fruit. It, it seems like, you know, you hear dried fruit, and you're like, well, oh, this stuff is amazing. Look at the color. Look at the beautiful selection. You get mangoes. You get kiwis. You get plums. You get dates. You get pears. There's so many different things. And here's the cool part. Not only do you get this giant platter, which will probably last you weeks, right? You also get the cool cutting board. That also doubles. Are you ready? Are you watching? It's not magic. Watch. You lift it up, okay? Turn it on its side. There's a little stand on the bottom. Look, it's a basket. Are you kidding me? All right, my producer is Pat. My director is Matt. Pat just said, by the way, if you want the, the fr dried fruit, 500. That's all I got to go around. Let's talk barbecue. This is the first time I've ever had the, uh, the, um, drumsticks on the shell, okay, from KG's. First time I've ever had them. These things are absolutely ridiculous. You're not gonna get one pound, not two pounds, not three pounds, not four pounds. Yeah, four pounds. <laughs> I almost said five pounds. You get four pounds of these things. $69.95 is the price. Everything is done. They're not fried. There's no breading. It's what we call naked. Love me a naked wing. I don't need all the, cr the stuff on the outside. They're crispy, they're delicious, perfectly seasoned, not spicy. So my senior friends out there that don't like spicy food, you will love these. And you're gonna get four pounds. And my big bite of the show is the ribs. I no longer make barbecue ribs on my smoker. I don't have to. I buy these in a three pack, I get them on auto ship. And by the way, if you want auto ship, I think I got 50. You're gonna get three jumbo racks of ribs, all seasoned. Slow smoked, sauce included, freeze, uh, frozen. All you do is clip the bag. You can let it defrost. Don't have to. Pop it in the oven. Cut what you want off. Put it in your air fryer. I'm talking melt in your mouth. Look at the look at the lacquer on these. Okay. Brian Teeter, Pitmaster, will be joining my, uh, me in a little bit for that. That is our menu. But I want to start with breakfast. Actually, it could be lunch, because I have these bagels any time of day. I make sandwiches out of them all the time. It's called Bagelista. I've never, I, this has got to be one of the smartest things I've ever had on Now That's Tasty. First time I got them, I was like, why are, the, why are bagels that you get at the store never as good as the ones you get in New York? A couple things. One, when they're fresh out of the oven, you get that crisp exterior and the chewy interior. But the only reason you get that is because they come fresh out of the oven. So what they do at Bagelista is they half par bake these. Put them in your oven, five to 10 minutes at about 400 degrees, or you can put them in, in your toaster oven or your air fryer. And that's what gives you that finished baked bagel. Crusty on the outside, chewy on the inside. Everybody that orders today is not gonna get, now I'll do the four again, not a pack of four or two packs of four or three packs of four. You get four <laughs> bags of these. <laughs> Carrie Maletto is here with me. Hey. Not only that, 24 bagels for $29? Do you know how much a bagel costs in New York City? Well, you exactly. Do. It's, yeah. I do. I was just in New York, and and being my family's from New York, and so first off, you're right. These are coming par baked, and I want to show you how they're coming. I want to show you the size of them in my hand. These are not baby bagels. These are not kind of sort of bagels. These are real, true New York bagels, par baked, meaning they're half baked in a hearth oven, which is a wood fired oven, waiting for you to become the bagelista. Now, our name of our company is on purpose. We know that chefs in, uh, for coffee are called 
baristas. Right. So chefs for bagels are called bagelistas. It's perfect. And that's what you're going to become yeah. when you have this at home because you're going to finish this off. And nothing is more amazing than the smell of a freshly made baked bagel. We do this every weekend, Danny and I. We take two out. We love the everything bagels. That's yeah. what we get. Yeah. All right, look at the color. I don't know how close you can get. Daniel's going to come in close. I just took these out of the air here's, fryer. Here's one before. Yep. And here's one after. So there's what happens. That's the one from the deli contestant, right? The New York deli. That's the one right there. Let's get up this in there. This is how they come. All okay. Right. All right. Let's talk about, should we talk about choices? Do yes. We let's start do that there first? and then we're going to make some bagels. Yeah, go ahead. You, you go ahead and tell oh, everybody Oh, okay, you, you got get. it. So, yeah. of course, you know, listen, always start with plain. Plain is a great place to start. The thing about Bagelista is we ferment for 24 hours. So, plain is really going to give you that ability to really taste the difference right. and that yeasty uh, in, goodness inside with all the complexity. So, if you're a plain bagel lover, that means you can do oh. a lot of things with your bagel. So, you're getting 16 of these. Then go down here is our cinnamon. Okay. So, cinnamon, raisin. Ooh. Oh. You went somewhere else first. You went to okay. everything first. That's okay. Here, here comes raisin. I'll pull you back. Come on cinnamon. back over here. We here. Go. here we go. Cinnamon raisin. Cinnamon I'll raisin is going to have your jumbo, delicious, oh, absolutely melt in your mouth. Break jumbo. into that one, guy. Go for it because oh we'll just gosh. replace that. Now, remember, these are par-baked, but I wanted you to see... See that density inside? See, there's a raisin right there? Yeah. When you heat this get up, one that's cooked. this gets like a browner color, and the inside steams, chewy. Okay. Yeah. Come you can over see here. the difference. Come over here see to see the expands? difference when it cooks. So what I love about this, again, is look at that jumbo, ginormous, super that. juicy raisin that you're getting in there with that cinnamon flavor. So that's what it's all about with us because we are, we're a small company. Yeah. Warren and Jenna are a husband and wife. They're giving you something that's been fermenting for 24 hours, which you don't get in commercial bagels ever. Um, and the reasons are because, again, we want to give you that full experience, yep. that full flavor. So get 16 of those. Raisin. Or let's go uh, sesame. 16 sesame. Sesame loaded with sesame. Dude, look at how many seeds are on here. It's if crazy. you are a sesame lover, and part yes. of the reason they stick so well too, by the way, is when you boil them, right. you then have kind of a sticky texture when you hearth bake. Right. And that sticky texture is what helps it stay on. So if you've ever had a bagel and all the mm. toppings just kind of fall off. What do they boil them in, by the way? They boil them in New York water. There you go. That's the deal. <laughs> they boil them in New York water. You think it's a joke. It's not. It's That's why not. their pizza is so good. I am on auto ship for the everything because it's really Danny and I just love everything bagels. Yes. But, and so you can get all everything, all sesame, yes. all cinnamon raisin, or all plain, or they can get the variety pack, right? Yes. The or variety you can get one pack. Of each. If you've never tried it, get the variety pack. All 24 right. bagels for $29.95. They come frozen. Put three bags in the freezer, or I'll put all four in the freezer. And then just pull out what you want, piecemeal. Yep. It's great for retired folks who are like, I don't want a dozen bagels, but I like to have them on hand. People come over. We make club sandwiches out of them. Yeah. I, you know what I, I did last week? I had leftover sausage and peppers. Yes. I, I split them, baked them, split them, and I made pizzas. <gasps> Bagel pizzas on an everyday That bagel. sounds amazing. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm doing one of my favorite things with the cinnamon raisin. Um, you know, because in the morning, you're getting your carb from that bagel, but you want to also put in a little bit of your banana will help fill that tummy tum, I always say. And then I put in a little peanut butter for a little protein, and then just put a little honey on top. Honey is a fantastic thing to have in the morning. So this is like a power breakfast, easy peasy to make. And then you can just pop your top right on, and you have just made a absolutely delicious bagel. And, you know, again, what's going to happen? And when you bite into it, is it's going to have, you know, here's his. So he told me, I asked him earlier okay. what his favorite was. So he yeah. loves, you love, your so, cream cheese, your salmon, yeah. and chive. So look at this. But look at that. And I want you to see, do you see that little shine? That's what comes from boiling in that New York water. Yeah. Okay? That's what it does. And then inside, I'm going to show you inside. Go inside. That is what you're looking for inside, <gasps> folks. This one just came That out. is what you're looking for. Now, the reason I'm doing that on this side is because I'm going to make one, but I'm going to use the other half because I like to have all the stuff on it. You're not going to believe so me. So good. But when this comes out, and I'm trying to see if we can, like, I'm tapping it. You yeah. want to hear that kind of cracking It's sound? like thin glass. Yes, and that shiny texture is the difference between a bagel that's eh 
and a bagel that's amazing. Exactly. And that is, I, I, being family from New York and everything else, and I, I talked with Warren, and he says, oh, I'm gonna send you some bagels. I said, okay, I'm gonna try it, let me see. I took it in my air fryer, it took four and a half minutes. Upon taking it out, I looked at it, I just did what Guy did, and I kinda went, ooh. And in here, that yeasty, right here, that softness, that's Smell. exactly what you want. You see how beautiful yeah. yeasty that is? It's got packs. That's your flavor, that's your complexity. Over here, this is the part you want with that shiny crispiness. Yeah. It should not be soft all over. Well, it should not be crispy You know what's over. nice, too, is that you can adjust the way you want it. If you yes. like it extra crispy, you leave it in a little sure. bit longer. Absolutely. If you don't like it super crispy, then uh, then you just take it in, take it out a little bit quicker. So there it is. Go for I would it. normally, I would put, I'm going to grab a caper. Oh, just some capers. I'm going to put a couple capers on there, too. You know what I love? So they're coming close. There's the bite. Pretend this is the morning. Here it comes. Here he is. He's going to get so happy right now. All right, there it is. Yeah, I know you're going to... Should we just go in? Yes. I'm going in. Just go in. I love the morning just putting out toppings and just talking and catching up and you making your coffee. And this is like an experience. It's something that you do. And if you have it, you don't have to wait for it to bake all is, the way. That is one of my favorite tastes in the world. Isn't it amazing? Like, <clears throat> I love lobster. I love prime rib. A bagel with salmon and cream cheese. It's, it's to die for. And you can do this every day in your house and enjoy it. And you're getting, the savings is crazy. You go to New York and you're a couple yeah. and you get two bagels with locks and cream cheese and all that stuff, you're going to spend 20, 25, $30. It can go Especially really go fast, to like, really high, really fast. You go to the really, really good delis, Absolutely. they're expensive. And you will pay it all day long. And the reason why there's a line down the street at all the famous bagel places when you go to New York is because mm. of how great these bagels mm. taste. Again, what happens is you can taste the difference between a boiled bagel or a steamed bagel based on the fact of that shine that you're seeing on the outside, that crispiness that you're getting on the outside. And it's not a crispiness just because it was in the oven. It's a crispiness that comes down to how this was made. And I'm telling you, 24 hours fermentation it takes two days for Warren and Jenna to get your bagel out yeah. the door. And again, we want to make you the bagelista. We want you to feel like, whether it's, you know, just sitting out on the patio because the weather's starting to yeah. cool off. Maybe you're having a brunch. I love brunch on the weekends, and I love putting out, like, a little spread of some toppings. So nice. And just sitting down and taking that moment off. You were, you're so smart because even before the show, Carrie said, you know what? We're just, let's just be like it's breakfast. We just yeah. got it. You know what I mean? And that's what it's like. There's something very calming about smelling baked goods in the morning, mm. but who has time to roll and make their own bagels? This mm. is, all the work is done. All you need to do, take them out of the package. Mm -hmm. If they're frozen solid, up to, God's honest truth, Danny and I zap them for 30 seconds. Yeah, you can't talk. Danny and I zap them for 30 seconds just to, to get mm. the freeze done, and then we pop them in the air fryer. Perfect. Literally, for, and the air fryer's fast, so we only put them in there for about four minutes, three, four minutes. It's perfect. Then we caught them. And if you want, you can cut them. Before you put them in the air fryer, you can cut them if it's a little easier for you. I don't. I don't. I like to open it up and let that steam up. That's all we do. Then we gather all our toppings. Danny's a salmon guy, too. We do the capers. If you're, if you're a cinnamon raisin, you could buy... Think about it. You could actually get some fresh raisins. You could oh. get cream cheese. You could do something. Look, you got one with peanut butter and banana. I went crazy on that. Pat, how are we doing? I know we didn't have a lot of these. We don't. Look at Find that. Find out. I, just how many we have left. I know we have auto ship. All the way around, we have a little over a thousand. Pat says auto ship if you want to get those. That's the most limited, but get these home. Weekend deal drop free, shipping and handling. And remember, these will stay in your freezer for a year. Right? Oh, yeah. I a mean, year. So the point is that you can come and get them when you want them, when you yeah. need them, right? So you're not having to run out to the deli and get those fresh bagels because you know they're only fresh when you first get them. And yeah. the ones that are in the store, Terrible. the clock started the minute you grabbed them and you went home, right? Mm. Or if, they, if you get them sent to you just already mm. baked all the way through. The mm. par bake is so that you are finishing them off and then the clock starts when you're ready so that you're only taking out what you need when you need it. They're going to come in a bag like this. There's... We did four on purpose because they stack great in your freezer. Yeah. Um, and then you can just grab what you want as you need. And you, you were mentioning it, you know, because, yeah, usually it's two of you yeah. or maybe four of you. And so you can use a package at one time. So right. it's really nice. And then keep the rest in the freezer for when you're ready. I, I like easy. having the plane, too, because the plane... If you want to, if you want to put like a blueberry sp spread on it or a strawberry spread, right. you're not going to want to do really. Most people don't want to do that on a on an everything bagel. That's right. They want to do it on a sesame bagel. Plain so is open. So let me show you again. We have about 30 seconds left. Everybody that orders will get 24 <clears throat> of the sesame, mm -hmm. 24 of the cinnamon raisin, 
or 24 of the plain, or you can go my favorite, 24 of the everything. If you've never tried them before, get one of each because we have a variety pack. Yeah, and you're paying that's the way to try it. A dollar and change pennies for each bagel. Oh, by the way, friends and family, you all know about that, right? It's our gift to you. It's our friends and family day, which means if you use that code, 18237, you'll get another 20% off, off this, off anything you want to purchase today. And then you can tell all your friends and family about it. They can use the code and they can get 20% off too. And don't forget, also $10 off with a brand new HSN credit card. Every time I come back, there's another bite missing. I can't help myself. I put it up here all nice and he snuck back in and did that. That's that's like catnip for me. I just, I got to roll in it. It's that okay. good. I'll leave an all right. for you. All right, coming up, Carrie, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up in just a bit, all right, these are the au gratins. Stephanie Roberts is here with you. You know how I feel about these, right? My favorite is the cauliflower. That's that's my favorite one, okay? We have it available in potato. Is there a new flavor too? It's just the two. Let me just say, these are like little souffles, okay? They are packed with cheese and light. I don't know what they put in them. They melt in your mouth, all right? They're little au gratins. They don't have a crust, so they're not filled with carbs. They are absolutely delicious. Use them as a side dish with a steak or with any meal you want. They come piecemeal. You get, how many do we get in there? 12? I think there's a dozen. You get a dozen of these 48 ounces. They are amazing. Whenever we run out, Danny says, Dad, you gotta order those again. So you can get them in the potato flavor or you can get them in the cauliflower flavor. Those are coming up in just a bit. Okay. Bonnie and Pop is a great company, okay? I love this item. I have saw it once before, I think it was a year or two ago. I absolutely fell in love with it. It's not only the most amazing dried fruits you will ever eat in your life, but it also comes with the coolest little gift basket that is also like a cutting board. <laughs> or, you know, we mentioned it, already dozens of people are already picking it up, and this I know we do not have a lot to no. go around. Kelly Diedring, my buddy, is here with me. Not only are you getting that cool basket, yes. but what I consider the best dried fruits on yes. the market, yes. on the marketplace. It's, they're so good. When you look at them, even There's the, the color is different. They're, they're amazing. They're amazing. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. They're out of California. Um, you get this with it, which yeah. I love how Guy did that. So not only is it your cutting board or your serving tray, but it also becomes your fruit basket. And you can see it's really easy to fold in. There's a little pin at the bottom. If you want to use that as your fruit basket, you see I put my apples in mine. We've got a variety of fruit here. The, I want to show you an unboxing, though, because it's kind of like I don't usually do an unboxing. Okay? I saw you do this the other day. I love yes. it. I it's love so, it. So it comes with nine different dried fruits, all from California with no preservatives. Yeah. Nine different dried fruits, all from California. Look at the box. We'll get a close-up of the so box. So if this is a gift, think about the teacher in your life. This isn't an apple mug, but it has that apple theme for teachers. So it comes like this. They're going to open this box. It's beautiful. You could just tag a little bow on it. Now I'm going to flip it around and just show you as the recipient opens it. It looks like this. It's beautiful. It's Look at stunning. It. Look it's a at pound it. and a half of nine different oh. California dried fruits with no preservatives. Oh my god. So you're giving the gift of sweet, okay, but not chocolate sweet, not empty calorie sweet, like healthy sweet. Yeah, but which is important at the holiday season. But full of color and, and of charm color. and and that when they get the cutting board and they turn it into a basket. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at this. Truly one of the best gifts you're gonna give anybody this year. And a great gift to give to somebody that you don't know what to get them. You, exactly, right? because who doesn't want the dried fruit? Look Go to the grocery this. store right now. You will get maybe two varieties of dried fruits options, and they'll be over $40. There you go. I mean, you're telling me nine different dried fruits, all from California. Okay, then you open it, it has this beautiful flower pattern, and it's on the plastic tray. Now, I'm gonna hand this to Guy, because I know he's gonna play with it. Okay, Love so play with thing. that. There's your little trivet. I like trivet to just watch, slash. drop it. Basket. <laughs> it's a basket, it's, it's a serving <laughs> tray. <laughs> But to me, this is the coolest part. You open the box, and this is probably like, everybody's like, well, that's not the coolest part. It is, guy. It comes with a bag to put the dried fruit into so once smart. your recipient is done. And then if this is their first Bonnie and Pop purchase or, you know, gift, it even says we are Bonnie and Pop, a mother and daughter owned creative food company. Our roots go back to Bonnie and Pop, two exceptional grandparents who devoted their lives to making people happy. 
Uh, and so it tells the story of this woman-owned company. It's very cool. Family-owned yep. Bonnie and Pop. They have the most lovely story. Go to Bonnie and Pop. Uh, dot com because it's all about serendipity. They're out of New York and they yeah. do these really high-end giftables. Look at, I want you to take I a mean, look. You're looking at the basket, which is amazing. But if you come and look at the fruit, and I'll go through everything that's in here because there's all kinds Are of stuff. Are you going to eat some? Yeah, I'm going to try it in a sec. But if I know once I eat, my mouth's going to start watering. I won't be able to talk. I'll be spitting all over everybody. <laughs> So well, you are getting you, and I up here, yeah, so. yeah. you are getting one and a half pounds of dried fruit. Do you know? Have you ever been to the store and bought dried fruit? It's outrageous. At like a health food store, where it's like nineteen dollars a pound or whatever. For it's a little crazy. Bag. Yeah. So you're gonna get okay. You're gonna get mangoes. You're gonna get apricots. <laughs> you're gonna get pears. You're gonna get kiwis. And by the way, have you ever I mean, just seen? Just look at the color. Look at that, look I mean, at that dried kiwi. No chemical look preservatives. At, look at that All mango. All from California. Look at this. Look at the pears. These are dates. Washington look, apple. I'm gonna stick the date right in the middle of the pear. <laughs> look at that. We've got, what are these? Are these apricots? Yeah, you have the apricots. Oh, and there's plums. Yellow peaches. Look, yellow plums, peaches. California dates. Apricots. And then the prunes. Did you get the prunes? Everybody's, hey, okay, listen. Let me tell you. Don't forget to eat your prunes, okay? <laughs> what is this, right? Is this, this is a plum. Yeah. Right? I've never had I've never had a dried plum. So here's the beauty Here of go. dried fruit is all it is is we've removed the moisture. So you're still getting the beautiful vitamins, minerals, and nutrients and the fiber in the fruit, but we've removed the moisture. So first of all, it's gonna last and last long. I mean, we're talking months. Oh um, plus, remember getting that little bag. If you don't finish it or your recipient doesn't finish it, they pop it into that bag. And then the third thing that they're getting is this bamboo basket. Now, I will tell you, I left my basket here. The last time this was on air was with Marla. It was about a month ago. It completely sold out. We were able to get some for your show, Guy, thankfully. And I left my basket here, and I was panicking because where am I going to put my apples? Right, right. My apples are lonely. They are hanging out <laughs> in a silly little fruit bowl right. instead of this. And I'm telling you, this is a conversation you piece. You put potatoes in there. You can put well, onions sure. in there. All right, so I'm, I just took a taste of kiwi. It's amazing. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten. That's one of the best dried fruits I've ever had in my life. It's, it's right? all from California. No it chemical has, preservatives. It's intense. So I want you to try and the, the apricot. This one's my favorite. Okay. If you've never had a dried apricot, now is your chance. It oh. is, it, it, it's like burst in your mouth. And I want you to think about gifting one right. and maybe getting one for yourself. And the reason is you're gonna save money when you entertain at the holiday season. This is gonna last through the holidays. This lasts months, okay? Because it's dried fruit. Mm. So when we remove the moisture, it keeps. Look at the charcuterie board. I, I mean, you, 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 I mean, there's charcuterie classes now, right? Just to take the class, you're talking $80. Oh because charcuterie is expensive. But not when you add all of your own dry fruits. You just go to the grocery, grab some meat, maybe a beautiful cheese, yeah. and you add it to the board and you're still gonna have probably a pound of dried yeah. fruit left look at, over. Look at how beautiful that is. Now the wine was supposed to be there but it was in my way so I'm gonna put it I back. Gotta, <laughs> I don't know how close, Daniel, I don't know how close you can get to this piece of mango here. When you you hear the words dried fruit, you think it's gonna be dry. Yeah, no, it still has right? that I want you to see something and I don't know if we can catch it. I'm gonna squeeze this. Do you see the moisture coming, <clears throat> coming out of there? Look at this. I mean, it is, it's so unbelievably pliable, soft. It's delicious. Oh, it's tasty. And again, you're get, it's all from California. Bonnie and Pop is this really high-end oh. gifting company. So everything they do is going to be remarkable in terms of what people receive. For me, this is my favorite gift of the season. I'm getting four because I have two teachers in each of my kids' lives, and then I'm gonna get one for family. So I'm probably getting five or six of these. Um, but that takes care of the people in my life that I love. Remember, it's your cutting board, it's your serving tray, so your charcuterie tray. And then if you want it to be, you just fold it out to that basket, and you'll see when you get it, there's a little pin underneath, and you just pop the pin down on the bottom, and then it becomes a basket where you put your fruit. This is bamboo, so it's gonna last and last and last. And I thought about this on my way in, because I know we have a ton of crafty folks. Yeah. You could stain it, you could paint it. I mean, you could really have fun with it, but just in and of itself, it's stunning. I mean, I had like <clears throat> window company in my home installing windows, and the guy walked in, he's like, what is that basket? Isn't that cool? I was like, oh, yeah. here, let me tell you about my basket because I love it. 500 or so remain. I know our clock is running out, but I'm telling you, this is one of those gifts. You give this to somebody, they That's open it up, so they're gonna good. go, that is the most original, clever, beautiful, 
delicious gift you could give somebody. And think about people like for, for this price, right? Think about like your mail carrier. Think about like somebody Teacher who takes care, of your, takes care of your pets, which I have now, right? Oh, because right. you don't know them that well. And you're like, who would not want this dried fruit? Especially when you look, this is not everyday dried fruit. This is the best on the market. Well, it's really high end. Remember, you're getting the wow. basket. It comes on the tray. I want to show you that again. So if you wanted to just take Kiwi. it out on the tray, oh. set this out. I mean, set this out yeah. at the holiday season and look at how beautiful that is in and of itself for guests that well, come by. We, we have it jammed in there. That would take up two or three plates. In a beautiful floral pattern, you're getting that. And then of course, you're getting the bag. The, to me, I thought, oh my God, they thought of the bag to put it in when I'm done munching or when my guests leave. Here, you take that with you. That's your apple. Thanks. Um, yeah, no, oh, where did the bag hey, go? do me a favor. Here's my bag. You have okay. to do me a favor. Because you're my friend. Yes. Everything that has save it all for you. Everything that has teeth marks in it. Okay, I'm gonna save this whole thing. Put in a bag. The guy for went me. through and literally. Melissa in the <laughs> kitchen. Everything that has teeth marks in it, I want to take home. I'm gonna put a bag and put your name on it. Look at how many left. 400. Yeah. Something. It'll go. It, it sold out the last time. Sells out every time. It's yeah. a gift. It's two gifts in one. Thank you, my darling. All right, I'll save this for you. Please. Okay. No, I love right. it. I love it. Danny will flip out. If like, you'll save me one of the. Danny will be like, those kiwis are ridiculous. They're so good. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> See you later. Hey, in case you missed it, uh, close to 300 people picked up our bagels. That makes me really happy. And what you, you know what makes me more happy? Knowing the first time you take this out of the toaster and you finish baking it in the oven, you're gonna, you're gonna be transported to New York City. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm at a deli in New York. Remember, you got your choice. All raisin, 24, all plain, 24, all sesame, 24, or you can get the everything, which is what I'm on auto ship for. If you've never tried them, get the variety pack. You get one of each. A little over a dollar a bagel, they deliver. Unbelievable flavor and texture. You'll love it. All right. So about, let's see, how long ago was it, Stephanie, when we first brought these here? It has mm, to be. It's been a few months. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because they're um, hard to get. I bought, a, you know, I bought several trays of them. I absolutely love them. I've never had anything on the market like this. This is kind of a combination between, like I said, like a twice baked potato. Yes. A souffle. I agree. Um, a meringue. It has all this it's light and fluffy. Incredible light fluffiness. It is the greatest thing with a steak or a piece of fish. Okay. Um, it's from Gourmet Kitchen. These are our au gratins. Au gratin, you know, obviously means with cheese, right? In a gratin. Au gratin. You get either your choice of a dozen in the potato with the cheese and the onions and all the good stuff, or you can get them my choice, which is always weird, and I tell you this last time, I'm a potato guy, but you think I would like them? I like the cauliflower better. And I know why, because it's roasted. roasted. It's got so much flavor. Oh my gosh, and when you put them on a plate next to a steak with some green beans, right. it looks like somebody made you a souffle. Absolutely. You order them today, $64.95. It's free shipping and handling. You get a dozen of each, they come frozen. What's nice about that, take two out, Right? Pop them in the, the oven. Pop them in the oven, leave yep. the rest in the freezer. Absolutely. Meal after meal after meal, you've got these side dishes that are super easy. Yes, you are getting 12. You will have your choice of potatoes yep. or cauliflower. I know Guy is going to start with the cauliflower, so these are the cauliflower ones. Okay. You can have the one I cut into, or you can cut into one on your own. So good. So what is making these special is the fact that these are the highest quality ingredients. That is what Gourmet Kitchen prides itself upon. So they have taken cauliflower. It has been slow roasted, as in this takes well over an hour just to do the roasting. That gives you that big flavor that you're loving right now. It's incredible. <laughs> Even if you're not a big cauliflower fan, you will be mm -hmm. after this. Because when you roast cauliflower, what does it do? It brings out the natural sugars. It makes cauliflower a little bit sweet. Mm. It's not a sweet dish, but it, it's like onions. Right. When you caramelize onions. Good, right? good comparison. That's what it's like. But it's cauliflower, and it's buttery soft. If you have issues with your teeth, you'll love this stuff because it's so <laughs> soft. But it's got a little crust on the outside, Stephanie. Absolutely. And if you want more go crust, you can cook them in the air fryer and they actually get crunchy on the they outside. Puff up too. Right, they certainly do. In fact, they are very nice and puffy. Now, the mm. creaminess after that first bite. 
That is the Gruyere. That is the cheddar. So that good. is the heavy cream. Yeah. So it is a rich dish, but it's not overwhelmingly rich no. because the cauliflower is a little bit lighter. Right so I like the fact that it's kind of a, ooh, that's rich. And the, ooh, but that was light. And oh, right. it's puffy in my mouth yeah. all at once. Did I cover it all? Totally. I mean, it's kind of a, well, ooh, this the is buttery, not the buttery, what you expect. Right, the buttery rich, rich and cheesiness. When you get into a soft piece of cauliflower, because it's roasted, mm -hmm. it's juicy. So it actually helps to wash everything down as you're eating it. You mm -hmm. gotta just trust me on this. I agree with that. Easily, easily top five things I presented, because I didn't expect it. I was mm -hmm. like, they just look like little, these little puffs of magic, but when you bite into them, they absolutely melt in your mouth. I like cauliflower, and as I said, I'm not a huge cauliflower guy, but I taste it, and I'm like, I love that. That nuttiness the cauliflower has, like when you roast it in the, in the yes. uh, air fryer. That's exactly it what it is. It has that taste. Potato is good, too. It's a little more just potato-y, but it's delicious. Well, here's what I like about the potato. Yeah. First of all, the, the thin slices, that right. makes such it's a like difference. Scalloped. Yes, yeah. these are exactly like a, a personal scalloped potato. And again, when it comes to surprises, the fact that those potatoes are so thin and delicate yeah. was a little bit of a surprise in my mouth. Again, you're getting the gruyere, you're getting the cheddar, you're getting the heavy cream. There's just a hint of garlic. You won't taste it the rest of the no. day because I'm not a big garlic girl, but you need a little bit to give it that little extra layer. Yeah. The reason I love either of these options is because this is not the kind of thing you typically get when you right. come to someone's home. Why? Because these are high maintenance to make dishes. Oh, God, yeah. So uh, I'm, listen, these I'm a restaurant. This Absolutely. is a restaurant. Absolutely. So I'm a good yeah. home cook, but I do draw the line with my time. I would have drawn the line before personally making these, which is why they're the perfect thing to get from somewhere like yep. Gourmet Kitchen. You're not going to find them in big box stores. You're never going to find this kind of quality of ingredients that Gourmet Kitchen provides. But in terms of the would you ever make this, I'm going to go a hard no for almost all of us because of the time to slice those potatoes, yep. because of the time to roast that cauliflower. Do you go get Gruyere when you're making au gratins? I bet you don't. You probably use a Swiss or a cheddar. So right. these are different see ingredients it, see what's inside. and it makes the difference i love the, the puffy see all the cheese inside and it's so buttery soft and delicious i'll do the potato one right next to it and let me tell you if you're a scallop potato freak oh and these, i am these will absolutely blow you away and this is what stephanie was talking about see see the slices paper thin slices of potato and then they in, they basically fold it in with all these yummy different cheeses look there's one right there that's a great That's one a right great there. That's a great shot of potato. So you can see mm. little slices so you have texture. Yes. But it's like we said, it's restaurant quality. It's like if a restaurant guy decided he wanted to make souffles and he was either going to do cauliflower or potato, this is what I would expect, but I'd be blown away. Right. Because I'd never be able to make it like that. So let me tell you how I make mine. Everybody does them different. I, I, I take one of my nonstick pans. Okay. Okay. I don't even put any oil in or nothing in it. It's just a nonstick pan. And depending on how many people are there, I put them in and I stick them in the oven. From frozen. From frozen. Yeah, these never have to I, thaw. It couldn't be right. easier. After about 15, 20 minutes, I turn them. One time. Okay. Only because I like the crust on the top. So you're and doing it a little lower and yes, slower. Yes, yes. Because I only do mine for about 10 to 15. Right. It gets gold. It's golden brown on the top, golden brown on the bottom. It actually looks like, like you just uh, cooked a scallop. Right. Right? But when you break into it, that crust opens up and all that cheese, oh my gosh, it's so good. Danny's addicted to this. <laughs> I love it. I got, I bought, I actually bought two trays. I got one in the potato, one in the other. I think I maybe have two left in potato. I mean, individuals. He takes them out all the time. He eats them for lunch. Well, and He's that's like, the thing. These are great for lunch. This is a four yeah. ounce serving. So you're getting a pretty hearty amount of food here. Now, think about how you'd use them. They'd be mm. perfect with a salad for lunch. They're both vegetarian yeah. entrees. So that's always something nice. The cauliflower is keto friendly. It is also vegetarian and gluten free, which can be hard to find if you are entertaining. So I like to serve them with the protein. They are perfect with a lovely piece of steak if you're doing something upscale, this would be like a surprising side for your yeah. guests. They wouldn't expect this. Uh, you can go more down home. We've served them with chicken and I love them for luncheons. We're yeah. big on brunch around the, any of the holidays sure. with my family. Um, so this is a lovely brunch entree. You could yeah. put a couple of different proteins with it. Perfect. Put it with some cheese but and a salad. Hey, Call it a day. If, if you don't eat meat, get yep. one of these and have a salad. They're hearty. 
really, really satisfying and hearty and so easy to pull out when you don't know what else to put with a meal. So even if you go out and you, you, know, you don't feel like cooking, you get fried chicken and you're like, we need something to go with it. Throw a couple of these in the oven, it, air fryer, wherever. They're so easy. And remember, these are not like a quiche. They don't have a crust. Correct. These are, these are just a wonderful vegetable dish that just tastes like heaven. I mean, they really... I've had souffles, I've had a cheese souffle in a French restaurant. That's what it reminds me of. They are that light that and light. fluffy. Yes. Plus they have the texture. So I think it's the combination of the lightness with the rich so cheese good. and cream and then just a little crust. Mm. I do like to do mine in the air fryer and you get a little bit yeah. more crust Easier. around the outside. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a different texture. So it just yeah. depends how you want to do it. But in terms of always being ready, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I have to suddenly have people over for dinner tonight. Have these on the ready in the freezer. They come frozen in two trays of six. All you do is pop out as many as you want to use for that That's event. It. Put them in the oven from frozen right. and you are ready to go. And unlike most side dishes, there's no work. <clears throat> right. Even if I've got to make broccoli, that means I got to cut it, I got to clean it, I got to steam it, and then I got to butter it, I got to, because I dry it. Sides I like are it. a lot of work. Sides are a pain in the butt. This is an easy, easy side. Are they cheap? No. They are worth every penny. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling yep. you. Yep, no, I agree. I'm one of those guys, if I really love it, I'm okay with spending the extra money on something. And I'm okay with spending money on you know? something you can't find anywhere else, anywhere else and that you won't make. Will you really be roasting and slicing and mixing? I, to me, that's too much work All for right. a side dish. So All I right. like that they're unique. If you love it, we have it on auto ship. I'm going to get auto ship. I just thought about it. Apparently you need to. I know. <laughs> well, I, my little punk son, I never know when he's going to go in there and start eating Yeah. Them. And then he has his girlfriend over and, uh, you know, they You're make a good ro dad. romantic dinners on my dime. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <clears throat> grab it while you can. Auto ship is available. Thank you, Stephanie, Good to so see much. You. Stick around. Barbecue is next. The best barbecue you'll ever have, right in your own home. Coming up next. Stick around. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. It's HSN's biggest craft month ever. With two exciting Craftober events full of hundreds of new arrivals, seasonal crafting, and offers we know you'll love. Shop HSN.com every Tuesday for new deals, specials, and more. HSN Craftober, Tuesday, October 3rd, only on HSN and hsn.com. HSN and QVC are proud to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with our customers, team members, and communities. We're shining a light on some amazing Hispanic and Latino-founded businesses in our HSN and QVC family. It's un conjunto. Claro. As well as specially curated products to help you join the celebration. To learn more and shop, visit hsn.com or qvc.com and search Hispanic. I created Nakery Beauty to address your biggest beauty concerns. At Nakery, we work with scientists to create highly effective products using powerful ingredients that work together to target your specific needs. This is skincare for your whole body, and we're proud to be considered an HSN clean beauty brand. Inspired by women like you, Nakery is dedicated to providing cutting edge innovations so you can feel beautiful all over. Favorite family tradition borders around the month of December and Christmas time. Tropa vieja or tamales or pasteles. It's the best tasting food in the world. In Colombia, we like to celebrate the day of the candles and it marks the start of the holiday month. Hollow's giving, we dress up in costume and eat Thanksgiving food around November 1st. Eat 12 grapes at the strike of midnight on New Year's Eve. This means that for every month that is upcoming in the new year, we are gonna have happiness and health and good tidings. So I gotta tell you, we are celebrating lots of things here at HSN, including his, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Lots of, of, of our manufacturers, lots of people that work in our business are of Hispanic heritage, and we've got all kinds of great things that you can pick up to celebrate that. Just go to hsn.com, type in that uh, keyword heritage right there, Hispanic heritage, and you will be good to go. Amazing, amazing stuff. So make sure you check it out on hsn.com. All right, back to Tasty. 
Hey, guys, would you grab me that tablet when you get a chance? I just want to say hi to my Facebook friends in a minute. So we're going to say hi because I know they're all watching because I missed them. Um, we're going to talk about barbecue. Let me just tell you this. This is Brian Teeters, pitmaster, my buddy, who introduced me to the best barbecue I've ever presented on any show, any network. I am a stickler. I've had a green egg. I got a big smoker. Yeah. I got all this stuff. I will never buy ribs again. Those are coming up in a bit. We've never, on my show, had the roasted drumsticks. And let me tell you, these are to die for. And what are you gonna get? You get four pounds, perfect size, consistent. Look at how they're all exactly the same. That's right. You know when you buy wings from the store, you get one big one, one little one, one tough one, and it's a waste? These are not wings. These are roasted drumsticks. Okay. Never fried in oil. Nope. No breading added. So you really allow that meat and that seasoning to combine that's right. Brian, for the best flavor ever. That's it. Tell everybody about, about your secrets and all the things so, you do. Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having us, guys. You got we, it, we my really, man. We love being part of this with HSN. And right here, like he's talking about, these, these roasted drumsticks, they're, they're tumble seasoned. So they're not fried. They're not dropped in oil. Right. They're just dry seasoned and they're tumble seasoned. And just look at that. I mean, look that moisture tender. and the tenderness oh. in there and how it just, it just pulls apart. You can do it with a fork. You can do it with your hands. That's why I'm doing both here just to show you there's no struggle there, right? No. No struggle at That's all. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're That's supposed right. to tell, hold the little handle. That's right. And you're supposed to eat it in a circle, almost like you're eating a ear of corn. That's right. But you want it to all release quickly. You want a little bit of, just a little pull. Just a tug. Just, just a little bit, like with a good rib. That's right. But look at how the meat just falls off. So. Look at that. Everybody gets four pounds. Talk to me about the process with this again. You were talking about you, you tumble them. That's right. So, so what we're going to do, you know, we're going to make sure that these drumsticks, I mean, look at them all the way around. There's not a flat side to them. They're not overly fat with a lot of juice in them. They're, they're, they're greasy. They, they're, that's right. Without greasy. That's where the I was looking for, yeah. right? So these just, but that juice is in there. And, they, and the oh way they're, they're tumbled and that they tumble season and they're just slow roasted. And look at that skin. That skin will peel right off there, too. Look at that. Just like that. Can I? Can you get a close-up of mine? I'm going to take a bite, because I want to show yeah. you. You know, what's, when I always know a good wing when I spin it in a circle and you see that consistency, right? Because you know there's several different areas of muscle inside here. That's right. And they all will release. I always look for this big kind of, there's a big bubble right there. And I always like to go there. So I'm going to start off with there. These are not spicy. Nope. If you want to add cayenne or whatever to zip them up, you can do that. You, yep, absolutely. I'm going to go in. You ready? Yeah, get in there. How about that? Skin just bit right through, right? Look at that bite. Look at that. Oh, so, my gosh, dude. That's right. So that you skin doesn't, funny? doesn't come off and it's, no. it chews, bites through. The skin is not rubbery or fatty. That's right. That's right. The skin tears right through. Well, that, that's the slow roasting. It actually breaks down that skin, makes it softer. It does, it does. And so it's all about that cooking process, okay. just slow roasting, Jeez. that tumble seasoning on there, just to get that, and again, all the way around, it's the same consistency. Oh my gosh. So like you were mentioning, different parts of the chicken leg mm. or what have you can be can be different. So it's all about that cooking process. And again, you just go right in there with a fork, Yeah. and it just pulls right through. And look at the, where I just took my bite. Look at that, clean bone. See what I'm saying? None of that tendony stuff. You guys come in close. That's it. And you all the see. way around. All <clears throat> the way around. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna take one more bite, but I want you to look at the look at the, the leg itself before I bite into it. So look where I took that bite. You see that? That's bone. That meat came right off. So what I love about especially drumsticks, it's like eating corn. You just keep going in a circle. I'm gonna do the same bite. I'll come down to the shot. And as he's doing that, look at that. Yep. What's the first piece of chicken someone's going to grab off the table, guy? They're going for that leg. Oh my this gosh. is the original chicken on a stick. Dude, right? It's so good. <laughs> I mean, That's I'm. the original one. I'm shocked. I mean, look at that. They it are just... so ridiculously good. So when you order today, everybody orders is going to get four pounds. Four uh, pounds. Brian, tell, tell them how they get delivered so they know, because some of you ain't going to eat four pounds all That's at once. right. That's right. So they're going to come to you frozen, right? So they've been tumble season. We're going to flash freeze them right off the bat, and they're going to come to you, and all you got to do is take out as many as you need or as few as you want or as many as you want. Depends on what you've got going on. you got the kids coming in from school. You need a snack. You can throw these in the air fryer. You can throw these in the oven about... 20 minutes or so, about 350 degrees, they're gonna be perfect for you. All the instructions are in there. 
right? So exactly what you need to do to them, all, well, all that's in I'm there. ordering these as soon as I get off the air. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I got to tell you, the consistency of the size, I don't like big honking wing or uh, drumsticks. Right. Because they have a tendency to be a little tougher, and, and they're, they're impossible for most people to cook. That's right. You knew... The most important thing, and you always talk about that consistency of, of the of the meat that we get, but it's also the timing. That's it. You don't do you don't cook these fast. We're not doing anything fast. So we've done all the hard work for you. So all you've got to do is pull these out of the bag, as few as you want, as many as you want. Look how that chicken. And as, again, it's all the way around, guy. <laughs> Those are so good. All the way around. It is everything that I am trying to not suck these things down in two seconds. They are that good. If you love chicken wings. All right, and I'm talking about the ones that you have. You will love these ten times more. It's first of all, you get more, you get more meat for your bite. You do, but that tenderness is better. Remember, with a with a drumstick, bone is bigger. You're getting more flavor because flavor a lot of flavor comes from the bone. It does, right? It does, and, and that's that where a slow roasting comes in. Your seasoning on this is unbelievable. It's not overpowering. It tastes like barbecue. That's it. But it's not salty. It has a subtle sweetness. And if you want to add, hey, listen, you want to take one of these babies and drop it in a vat of blue cheese, I got no problem with that. That's it. I have no problem with that. It is that seasoning, and you're right, and it's that slow process. So that's that KG yard bird yeah, yeah, seasoning yeah. we put on there. Dude, it is so good. It's a savory seasoning. It's not spicy, as you mentioned. You can yeah. add spice to it if you want to, either through another rub oh, or yeah. if you want to do some sauce. Look at this one. You can do it that way. I got want. one right here, and I want to show you. You're using a fork. You can just, Man. I mean, watch, yeah. my, watch my fingers on this one. So here it is. I mean, you are literally pulling this beautiful meat, and you can see how juicy that is. Here's your next bite. Comes right off. No problem. There's your last bite. Look Boom. at that. I mean, this is, oh, look at those little nuggets in there. So good. All the way I'm around. Gonna, I'm going to eat those. All the way around. That is so, all mm -hmm. right. I got an update from Pat, my producer. I say, he said we had 200. How many do we have, Pat? 180? You get four pounds. Four pounds of this. Four pounds. So think about it. For 69 bucks, that's that's four weekends of football. That's it. Right? That's it. Perfect each, for tailgating. Each, each person eats a half a pound. That's right. You could put these in an air fryer. You can put them in the oven. You could fire them up on a grill if you want to. So however your tailgates are going or your or your parties are going, man. you can you can warm these up just as easy. Just as easy. You know easy. what amazes me? And again, it's me, all the way around, man. Brian, what amazes me about what you do, it's really hard to ship barbecue and have it taste good. That's Do right. you notice that? I've tried it in the past. The stuff in the supermarket that's in the plastic bag, I don't like it. Yeah. I got one that was a, a, a fancy brand. It was tough. I had to cook it another hour in the oven. I'm like, they didn't, they didn't cook this all the way yeah. through. They're slapping that in bags. This guy cares about it. It's, it's what he does. So when you get your drumsticks home or our ribs, which are coming up, they're going to be like the greatest ribs you ever had. All right? And remember... They're, they're flash frozen, That's so right. the flavor's in there. That's right. The seasoning is there. I love these for seniors because, listen, I can make a chicken wing, but for most people, who's got a deep fryer? Who's got, who's got all that time to do it? This is delivered to your door. You can either put it in the freezer, although you're probably going to take a pound out and get to eat them right away, but get them home and try them. That's right. I'm, I mean, especially, here's the thing, on, on, especially on Sunday if you watch football, you want to watch the games, man. I don't want to be cooking. That's I don't right. want to be getting a deep fryer out. I've already done it all for you. It, that's exactly it. It's all done. It. It's all done. All you got to do is pull out as many you, as you want. You just put on your hat like, on like the, you got to put on your barbecue hat and you're good to go. Put on the KG hat. <laughs> that's right. So when you get them, they're all going to come frozen. Pull out what you want. I got 170 something left. I can't see it because I'm blind. 120, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Nice. So six dozen left if you want to get them. I'm going to order these as soon as I get off air. And you all know Look I'm that. really particular about barbecue. Okay, really, I've had barbecue, there's a place like over in uh, St. Pete, I got it at the end of the day, it was dry. Oh, And I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, you, you know, so they obviously just make it once in the morning. This is cooked at its perfect temperature. That's right. It's, it's frozen. And when you get it home, all you do is open up a bag and stick it in the oven. So all the you can have the game, are in there. You can have the game on, you could be doing all your fun stuff, playing with the kids. That's right. Let the KG right. do the work for you. So here's what Pat says. Pat says we got to move on because we're going to sell out. That's a good thing because that lets us get early to ribs. By the way, have you heard about our friends and family? So here's the thing. Do you have friends and do you have family? Obviously. Well, they can take advantage of this 20% off just like you do. All they have to do is get that code. 182-337 is the code. 
Grab that code and take 20% off anything you buy, including our ribs, which are coming up next. Hey, you know, I'm, I, I do the lawn and garden shows too. You all know that, right? Well, if you go there, we got all kinds of stuff going on in our lawn and uh, garden uh, section of our, of our website. How much, Pat? 40% off. All right. And we got clearance. Real quick, I'm going to say hi to my Facebook friends. Pat, is that okay? Yes. All right. Well, we're going to be pulling meat off the bone while I'm saying hi to everybody. Hi, Annie, Anita, my sweetheart, Lillian, Martina, my love, Judy, uh, Annie, Anita, I might, sure I might say your name twice. That's okay. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Well, of course, we got... Let's see, there's Judy, Judy, Judy. I just, I never know if it's more than one Judy out there. There's Dawn. I know Ed and Laura are watching as well. I love you guys. I miss y'all. Glad to be back with you. We are talking about barbecue. I got Brian Teeters with me, pit master extraordinaire. Let me tell you, I make a lot of things out, out of my smoker. One of the hardest things for me to do, and I don't know why, is always ribs. First yeah. of all, the steps. You got to see, first of all, you got to get the, get the skin off, the, you know, the silver skin, all that stuff off. I try. Season yep. them up. I do mustard. I do a rub. Then I got to put them in there and I got to sit them out there. If they go only for about an hour, hour and a half, I don't want too much smoke. Then I got to wrap them in foil. That's right. Then I got to bring them inside. I got to cook them for another two hours in the oven. All that, and I'm never sure they're going to be perfect when That's I right. get them. That's right. These are perfect every single time. Let me show you what you're going to get. Yep. And then Brian is going to show you all the love that goes into this. So. I, I still can't get over this value. On sale, $109.95, free shipping and handling. Not one, not two, but three full racks of ribs right. cooked, sauced, ready to go. Pop them in the oven. You can stick them on your grill if you want to get a little right. smoke to them. That's right. They are completely cooked. They are beautifully tender. Like we say, you just you just pull them apart. Like just like that. Just like that. They just come right apart. And yeah. we are very limited. We are almost sold out of the drummies, which really makes me mad because I wanted to order those. <laughs> this is what I have left in the three pack of ribs. All I'm telling you, my 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 friends, my fans, my neighbors, all you people, if you want that rib flavor like you know like they have down south. And I don't care if it's KC or I don't care if it's Memphis, uh, yeah, Texas, yeah. wherever you go, Carolinas, this is the best of all worlds. First of all, not too sweet, perfect sauce. That's right. Brushed on. Tell me the steps that go into that, Brian. Sorry I was talking so much. No, I'm just, you're good. I'm you're mesmerized good. by you're it. You're good, yeah. So, you know, these, these uh, KG ribs, they are slow cooked, slow smoked. It's about a six-hour total cook on these on these ribs. And so, again, a lot of work to it, as Guy was mentioning, but we've done all the work for you, right? And you just see the smokering in those ribs. Look at that, right? No gray in there at all, just that nice smokering, right? Here's some that are kind of cut on the side. You can even see it a little bit better that have been actually cut so you can see that smokering. But what's more important is when you just pull those ribs apart. Look at that. And that's, that's the end of the rib. So it's, the rib is consistent all the way across oh. the entire rib. And it's that slow cooking process. So it's all starting with the meat oh. selection, right? What do those ribs look like even before we start messing with them, right? And then that cooking process and how we just go slow look at and that. slow. And that rib just pulls right apart. All right. See that? Take a look at this piece right here in my hand. You come in nice and close if you want on that. Look at that. Look at the bark on the outside. Look at the color of the meat. Look at that. Can you see it? The juice inside there. There's the bark on the outside. I mean, that is how you want your pork to look. I'm going to take a bite if you don't mind. Absolutely. So these are award-winning competition-style ribs. So we've won trophies with these ribs. And you mentioned a couple of different places, but we are out of Memphis, Tennessee, so everybody knows that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> had, to oh, throw, had to throw the Memphis love no. out there. Keep talking. Well, there I'm still we go. Eating. Yeah. So good. So, so it's that slow roast, right? It's yeah. that slow, so it's slow smoking of those ribs, and then when we get that bark set up oh on those God. ribs like we like them, yeah. All right, that's when we're gonna what we call wrap them up, put them to bed, yeah. Let them finish cooking, and so they just come out just tender like I that. I want everybody to see what you're getting. I'm gonna hold this up. I'm gonna show you the back first, okay? I can always tell a rib is cooked even by looking at the back. Do you see that? See how the bones are just slightly poking through? Now, you don't want them to fall apart. This is not pulled pork. That's right. You want a little bit of a bite. And then look at the other side. Look at how perfectly, not only that, Brian, you buy ribs 
at the market, do you ever notice some of them will have so much meat on one side right. and nothing on the other? That's right. These are hand selected to be balanced so they're easier to eat. That's right. And because, if we need to, we'll, yeah. we'll trim them up a little bit. Got to do that. So right? love goes into every one of these ribs. So it's time and love as we always talk about. But you, you mentioned that rib, that integrity of that rib See is there. See how it holds? It just yeah. holds until you decide you don't want it to. Now watch this guy. And it'll just, it oh just goes. Oh my gosh, it look just at goes. that. See look that? at that meat. So again, it's there until you want to pull it apart. So it's not tough at all. There's a little nice tug pull oh to it, God. a little pull. Dude. And look at that smoke ring. So that I smoke like just, ring is on. I just like pulling it. I'm gonna pull this one apart. And I want you to see, see there's that red color. That's that. That's it. That's that smoke ring right inside there. And then look at how the meat it just comes right off. I and mean, this is what we're showing the judges, guy. This is when the when the judges are coming through. This is what they want to see. This is what they want to see. Now, for you folks at home, mm. again, we, mm. I've done all the work for you. All you've got to do is take these, put them in a put them in an oven safe dish, put a yeah. cover on them right. for about 30 minutes, and and they're good to go. You like you said, you could put them out on the grill. You want to get the grill fired up and get yeah. the neighbors poking over the fence. Go, put what's, it he, on, what's he doing? Yeah, what's I put doing? it on low on the grill. You don't want to because remember what's it's got the doing? sauce on it. You don't want to burn it. But get them home. By the way, drumsticks, out of here. Gone. Which sucks for me, but good for you, because I was going to order these when I get off the show. Oh, do we have auto ship or anything on those or no? Just gone. They're gone. Gone. All right. Just gone. If you want to get ribs, and here's the thing, too. They all come frozen, right? So I they, can pull one come. out at a time. That's right. That's right. They if come frozen. If you want to get ribs, Pat's going to put up our left counter one more time and get busy at the end all the time. Three jumbo racks, OK? Just three pack, the bone. two pounds uh, of ribs on here. Are there three two-pound racks? Yeah, you get six pounds of ribs. Well, you're getting three. You're getting three full slabs, just right. like you were showing. Yes, yeah, so that yeah. full slab of rib. Right, and each one is about a pound or it's, two. It's right. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it's you're getting all that. I have a hundred left and three minutes on the clock for you to grab them. So these, in all likelihood, will sell out. I get mad because I have your pulled pork on auto ship. Yeah. And you were looking for some ribs, right? I was, I'm, well, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna get, you know what, out of luck again when it comes to, it's okay. I want you guys to enjoy it. Hey, listen, it's September. There's nothing better than going out in September or October. And you know, you can, you can do these outside on your barbecue, just heat them Absolutely up. Absolutely, you can. But think about that taste of ribs and we're in football season. We got our today's special, where's that ball? We got our today's special coming up, which is our football. I mean, think about, I said, I said um, on, my, um, on my Facebook page, I was like, football and food. It's, it's all September, October, That's November, it. and December. That's Tailgate what we do. Yep. Our today's special coming up in just a bit. Never seen anything as cool as this. Love this, and I'm a Ram fan, so you know I love that. <laughs> Football and food, you know, it just goes together. And the thing is, you want to spend your time watching the game. Absolutely. Not watching the barbecue. And you know. And I've done it for you. Yeah, because you know doing barbecue, you can't sleep on it. No, no, no. You gotta no. watch it. Thank you, my man. <laughs> I got, I got to be out there taking care <laughs> of that. You, I got to be out there taking care of these ribs while the game is on. Yeah. You guys at home don't have to do that. All you got to do is warm these up, and they're ready to go. Again, competition-style, award-winning ribs. We won awards with these ribs right here. I love and it. You guys can get them delivered right to your door. You know what's nice about this to too? It's the one time we can get dirty and nobody cares. You know That's what I mean? Right. We're getting, you right. get as sloppy as you want. It's ribs. It's chicken. It's a great protein. All the work is done. Listen, you or me, we're never going to be as good as this guy, more than likely, unless uh, we dedicate our life to it. <laughs> well, you know, you got right. a, you got to dedicate to we, this you, stuff. Yeah, we've been doing this a long time, and you mentioned yeah. you mentioned hands dirty and all that. I promise you, my wife's Jen's watching home right now, going, "Wipe your hands." Wipe isn't, that, your hands. isn't that funny? But this is the fun. Whenever part, you right? work in a restaurant or you do that. The first thing the partner always says, did you wash your hands? <laughs> because it literally takes like 45 minutes to wash your hands at the end of the day. It does. That stuff gets under right. your nails. It's all good. All right. Flavor. Last call. I guess already done. Sold out again. Wow. Two for two, my friend. Good job. All right. <laughs> all right. You can't go anywhere, though. Okay. We knew we, we shut down early, so we got about a minute or two. This is, I would say, top two all-time food items I've ever got from HSN is your pulled pork. They have their choice. Is it pulled pork or pulled chicken? They're both delicious. Can you talk about that for about a minute? A absolutely. So the, the pulled pork is done just like these ribs. It's slow. It's a longer cooking process, but it's all hand-pulled, right? Uh, flash frozen, delivered right to the door for you. All you got to do is warm it up. You can warm it up in the oven. 
warm it up on a grill, however you want to warm it up, whatever, whatever you're trying to do for your party, your tailgate, <laughs> it's a competition award-winning Memphis-style pulled pork the or best. the pulled chicken, and it is good. Here's guaranteed. what I do. Let me see. You know what I do? I go to Publix, all right? I get the onion roll. I toast the onion roll. I make my own coleslaw. A little celery seed, a little mayonnaise, a little uh, cider vinegar. Right. I, I put a mound of that pulled pork, a scoop of coleslaw, put that onion roll on top. I, I'm going to post that recipe. It's pretty easy. I just did it. Get it and try it. And the chicken, that's what you get. You get, you get five, five bags. Yep. Five one-pound bags. And so, again, it's another deal. You take as much or as little as you need. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of... That's one a lot bag, of one bag will make pork. at least four sandwiches. Absolutely. That's what I, I do will. with it. So think about it. You're feeding four people for $20. That's you can't really, get that in a restaurant. No. No, not. And, and you can't get this style. You know what I do? I take it out of the bag, frozen, I put it in, a, in an oven dish, put a lid on it, put it in the oven. That's it. And you and got the extra sauce if you need extra it. Extra sauce, it's I can there. squeeze that That's on. That's right. Squeeze that on there. All right. 300 of those remain if you want to get that customer pick. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been eating a lot. I had a bowl of Cheerios. That's all I had today. So all my Facebook friends, don't call me a sloppy pig. Now we got some real. Anyway, my man, you're the best. Good to see you again. You too, buddy. All right, friend. Appreciate it, guys. All right, hey, stick around. Where's that ball? He took my ball away. <laughs> Where's the ball? Sam, Here throw me a ball. Is. Sam, yeah. Woo! Sam's coming up. He's our man. Today's special coming your way next. Sam, go deep. Go deep. <laughs> That's a touchdown. My name is Sam Acho. I played nine years in the NFL. I'm a husband, a father, I have four kids. I've written two books.